Hi again, I am creating this tutorial on request of our member and he wants to know how to create navigation menus and how to give them a mouse over hover effect. So I have this area on our left side booked for my left menu, navigation menu and I gave some hyperlinks here on this table data area. So I'm going to create advanced rule for this area. Click on new rule, choose advanced and type hash and name your rule. I'm just going to name it like menu or name it left menu and click OK. Just give it some background. I'm going to choose this background color and press OK. And apply this rule to your this portion of area left menu now in order to affect the hyperlinks we have to create another rule create another rule and choose A cause we have to affect on hyperlinks and press OK and for the text I'm just going to choose red color or just choose white one and uh, it should be bold and for the background it should be red press ok oh, sorry apply and here's the tricky part go into block area and align them in the left side of your page and choose block from the display menu block when you will press apply you're gonna see the change here now you can also apply cell padding let's choose 3 for this not 23 <laughs> 3 yeah apply and for the margins I'm going to choose 1 here it is ok now preview your page after saving your style sheet preview you can see the smashing menu but there is no hover effect so I have to give a hover rule as well click on this rule oh uh, sorry click on new rule button and type power press ok now change the background into like a blue one and for the text I'm going to use black and apply press ok save your style sheet and refresh your page or preview it you can see the hover effect but there is one problem that our hover effect is not uh, affected like triggered when we move our mouse on this part of our button area in order to do that go into our previous rule which is left menu A and click on edit button and in the box section in the width area type 100 percent apply and ok save your style sheet and now refresh your page now this area will also be triggered by your style sheet thanks for asking me